Thank you. The chair grants the gentleman from California, Mr. Liu, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein, for being here today. I note for the American people that not only were you appointed by Republican President Donald Trump, you were also previously appointed by Republican President George Bush to serve as U.S. Attorney for Maryland. And in a profile view in the Washington Post, when you were a U.S. Attorney, a former prosecutor says, Rod Rosenstein is the poster child for the professional, competent, ethical, and fair-minded prosecutor. So thank you for your service to the American people and for your exemplary service. Thank you. Last week, FBI Director Chris Ray told us that no one is above the law. You would agree with that statement, correct? Absolutely. That no one is above the law? Yes, I would. Now, important to our democracy is not only that concept, but also that people have to have trust in our law enforcement investigations. There are some of my colleagues and some in the media who have suggested that if you make political contributions, somehow you cannot be fair and impartial. So, as you know, these political contributions are a matter of public record. You previously said that when it comes to a special counsel investigation, you, Special Counsel Mueller, and FBI Director Ray will be the ones held accountable. So we looked up the political contributions of FBI Director Ray. He has made over $39,000 in contributions exclusively to Republicans, including $2,500 twice to Romney for president, $2,600 twice to Purdue for president, thousands of dollars to National Republican Senatorial Committee, $1,000 to Comstock for Congress, and on and on. Do you believe FBI Director Chris Ray can remain fair and impartial? Yes, I do. Your colleague, Associate Attorney General Rachel Brand has made over $37,000 of political contributions exclusively to Republicans. Do you believe she can remain fair and impartial despite her political contributions? Yes. Okay. I think it's important right now to shut down the silly argument from my colleagues across the aisle that somehow if a Department of Justice employee exercises their First Amendment right to make political contributions, that somehow they cannot do their job. And it shows a desperation that some people have about the Mueller investigation, which I now want to turn to. You supervise that investigation, so you are aware, of course, of their guilty pleas and indictments. And in reviewing the guilty plea of George Papadopoulos, you would agree that there is a solid legal and factual basis for that guilty plea, correct? I believe he was represented by competent defense counsel who assisted him in making his decision. And he pled guilty uh, to lying to FBI agents about interactions with Russia, Russian officials, correct? I believe that's correct. I don't want to comment, Congressman, beyond what's in the charging documents. They speak for themselves. Thank you. The, the guilty plea of Michael Flynn, uh, you must have looked at those as you supervise this investigation. You would agree there is a legal and factual basis for that guilty plea as well, correct? Yes. And he lied to FBI agents about his interactions with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, correct? Again, Congressman, the documents speak for themselves. Uh, you have read the indictments against Paul Manafort and Mr. Gates. You would agree there is a solid legal factual basis for those indictments, correct? Congressman, when we return an indictment, we're always careful to say the defendants are presumed innocent, but uh, I'm comfortable with the process that was followed with regard to the, that indictment. You're aware of the various people that have been interviewed by Special Counsel Mueller's team. Uh, you would agree that there was a, a factual and legal basis to interview those witnesses, correct? I'm not aware of any, uh, of any impropriety. Uh, you previously had testified about uh, Robert Mueller's exemplary record and dedication of service. You did mention he was a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I just want to note for the record, and I'm sure you know as well, he also did receive a Bronze Star for his service in Vietnam, correct? I believe two, correct. He also received a Purple Heart for his service in Vietnam, correct? Yes. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a special counsel investigation that is being supervised by Mr. Rosenstein, who's been described as a fair-minded prosecutor, appointed twice by Republican presidents, being run by Special Counsel Mueller, a man of extraordinary dedication that is a Vietnam veteran, Bronze Star winner, Purple Heart, and in coordination with FBI Director Christopher Wray, who's been appointed by Republican president, who's made over $39,000 of contributions exclusively to Republicans. That is the leadership of this special counsel investigation, and I am okay with that. I yield back. 